right, so this says given the equation y equals negative 5x plus 1, find the x-intercept. Now remember, this is good. The x-intercept, when you have a graph of a line, well, really any graph, and you're looking for the intercepts, the most important thing to remember, let's just say that's our line, is at the intercepts, first the y-intercept, we know the x value is zero because it's above the origin, directly above the origin. At the x-intercept, the y value is zero because it's level with the origin. So we're gonna use that to find this coordinate and we're gonna use that property to find this coordinate. So when you're ever looking for any intercepts at all, you just let the other variable be zero. So if we're looking for the x-intercept, that means y equals zero. If we're looking for the y-intercept, that means x equals zero. So let's do the, the x-intercept first. I'm just going to rewrite the equation, but replace y with 0. So I get 0 equals negative 5x plus 1. I have to solve this for x. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So I get negative 1 equals negative 5x. Now to get x by itself, just divide both sides by negative 5. So I get x equals positive, because it's negative divided by negative, one-fifth. So when y is zero, x is one-fifth. So this is going to be one-fifth comma zero. Now when I do the y-intercept, I'm just going to flip it. I'm going to let x be zero. I get y equals negative five times zero plus one. Well, if negative 5 times 0 is 0, so I'm just left with y equals 1. So the y-intercept is going to be when x is 0, y is 1. So those should be your answers. Let's do the same thing for number 11. It says find the x-intercept, so we're going to let y be 0. And for the y-intercept, we'll let x be 0. So when we let y be 0, I get 2x plus 5 times 0 equals negative 40. 5 times 0 goes away. This is 2x equals negative 40. If I divide by 2, I get x equals negative 20. So I have the coordinate negative 20, comma, 0. Now we'll do the y-intercept. Let x be 0, I get 2 times 0 plus 5y equals negative 40. That goes away, I'm left with 5y equals negative 40. Divide both sides by 5 to get y by itself, and I get y equals negative 8. So when x is 0, y is negative 8.